Hey third graders, this is Miss Raymond and I'm so excited to teach another writing lesson to you that Miss Ashby and I have created. Last week we worked on writing opinion paragraphs and this week we're going to learn something new. We're going to start talking about nonfiction paragraphs. And before we take a look at some examples, let's review the differences between fiction and nonfiction texts. In fiction texts, there are characters, setting, a plot, or problem solution. There are illustrations, a theme, or a lesson the author wants you to learn. It could be realistic or um, fake, and it can tell a story. It does tell a story. And then in nonfiction texts, there are text features like a table of contents, glossary, and photographs. There is a main idea, and it gives information and facts. So, you will often see nonfiction paragraphs in feature articles. And feature articles are pieces of nonfiction writing where the goal is to teach the reader about a specific topic and is organized in an appealing way to engage readers. So let's take a look at a nonfiction feature article. This one is called Fish That Live in the Desert. And while I read this to you, I want you to be thinking about what you notice about this um, feature article. So fish that live in the desert. We all know that fish live in the water, but there is a kind of fish which lives in the desert. Difficult to believe. Well, there is a variety of fish called the lungfish, which is found which are found in Africa. When the rivers overflow, their water spreads to the dry regions around. It forms small lakes or ponds. The fish lives in these ponds. And when the lake dries up, the lungfish don't die. They bury themselves in the wet mud where they can live for months, especially if they go deep underground. Sometimes these fish might these fish have been found several meters below the soil. Lungfish are one of the most ancient bony fish found on earth today. They are very much like the fish that lived 200 million years ago at the beginning of the Mesozoic era. It was a period when the dinosaurs, fish, flying reptiles, and evergreen trees were found on Earth. So I want you to take a second to think about what this paragraph is um, and anything else that you notice about it. Take a few moments. Some things that you might have found in this paragraph are that it shares true facts, just like how these fish are found in Africa. That is not made up, that is true information. You might have also seen that there are text features like photographs and captions underneath. It is also on a specific topic. So this specific paragraph and not feature article is about lungfish and how they survive in the desert. And this author writes in complete sentences. So let's take a look at another feature article example. This one is about sloths and it is organized into different paragraphs. Before we start reading, let's take a look at the organization of these paragraphs. Nonfiction paragraphs are written in a hamburger style or format. This is a visual representation of the key points of a paragraph. The top bun represents the first sentence or the topic sentence. This sentence states the main idea of your paragraph. I know you have been working hard reviewing the main idea in your reading lessons, so you know that this sentence will state what the paragraph is mostly about. The next part of the paragraph, the cheese, meat, and lettuce, those are the details that expand on your main idea. In this part of your paragraph, the author will give you facts and infor extra information and examples. Finally, the bottom bun represents your conclusion. This is a sentence that summarizes what you want to your, your reader to know, so it restates the main idea. Today we are going to be focusing on the topic sentence. We will take a look at a few and then you will do an activity and write some of your own too. Let's take another look at that sloth feature article. So topic sentences, like we mentioned, 
are the first sentence of a hamburger style paragraph and it introduces the reader the main idea or what the paragraph is mostly about. So let's look at some examples. In this paragraph, the topic sentence is sloths are slow and smart. S sorry, sloths are slow, smart, and sweet. So this paragraph is going to be how sloths are slow, smart, and sweet. That introduces to your reader what that paragraph is mostly about. So let's take a look. It says sloths are one of the slowest animals on the face of the earth and one of the smartest. They are funny, cute, and very noisy. So that topic sentence told your reader what you were going to be learning about from that paragraph. Let's take a look at another example. This says, why are sloths so slow? And the topic sentence is, like pacing yourself on a run, when you're low on energy, sloths move slowly to conserve energy as well. So in this paragraph, I know from the topic sentence, which tells me what it's mostly about or the main idea of this paragraph, that it's going to be about why sloths are slow and how they move slowly to conserve energy. So then it says, after the topic sentence, it says, Sloths move slower than any other animal on Earth. Sloths have very little energy. They can't dart around as fast speeds because at fast speeds because their diet doesn't have much protein to help them move quickly. So again, that topic sentence introduced to us what that paragraph is going to be mostly about, the main idea. Now let's look back at the first feature article that we read about the lungfish that live in the desert. This topic sentence says, we all know that fish live in water, but there is a kind of fish which lives in the desert. This is a great example of a topic sentence because it introduces to you that this, art, this paragraph is going to be mostly about a type of fish that lives in a desert and how they survive. So now you are going to try it on your own. It is your turn. So what you are going to do is you are going to click the link to practice your detective research skills and you're going to look for topic the topic sentence of each paragraph. Then work to create your own topic sentence. In this paragraph, you will highlight the topic sentence in red. Same with these two paragraphs. And then the last two slides, slide four and five, you will double click inside of the box and type after reading the paragraph, decide what it is mostly about, and then write a topic sentence for these two paragraphs.